So uh, the other day, we had shared an article and a story from one of our uh, contributors, Matt Ryan, of how he almost uh, was uh, going to have his Apple account shut down because of some PayPal fraud. And nobody at that point was responding. We brought in Matt uh, by way of an audio feed through TeamSpeak that we use for Nomi's. Uh, and he explained in the video exactly what was going on. Well, because you guys helped us get the word out, we actually got a hold of uh, PayPal and Apple. They got a hold of Matt and said, hey, we saw the article, something's definitely amiss. And to the point where because you helped share that article, we got the problem resolved not just for Matt, but potentially for other people who may have run into this issue or might run into this issue in the future. Uh, so Matt, uh, could you give us an update, uh, exactly, you know, what had happened and, and what, uh, what's coming of this? Well, sure. Uh, the day after I posted the article, um, and it actually was on, on the top of Hacker News for, for man, many hours, thanks to the community, uh, voting that up. Uh, I got a call from Apple and they said, the first thing they said was, we saw your blog post. And I was like, oh no, am I in trouble? Um, and they were really nice about it, and they said, well, actually, it brought it a, a really serious issue to our attention. We didn't realize that this was going on, um, and this was a, in a different department than the one that, that had handled my problem before. And, well, I explained my case, and they explained that the problem was that um, basically they were having a ping-pong match with PayPal back and forth, and things were being resubmitted that didn't need to be, and it was causing the issue. But they had their management team note my account and make a note of the situation so that they could solve it in the future. The next day, I get a call from PayPal, and the same thing. They, they said they saw the blog post. They explained uh, the internal workings of the issue, and I, I put it all in the blog in an update. Uh, but what was most important is I asked each of them, what if I didn't have a blog? What if you know, all I could do was call customer service? What, what can somebody do? Well, on Apple's end, they explain that you can do a written request, and it does go to a human being. Um, but on PayPal's side, they said their, their upper management team was actually going to have a meeting with Apple and see if they can figure out a way to keep this from ever happening again to anyone else. And that blew me away. That, that did more than solve my issue, and it, it, it kind of justified all the people that left comments on the article saying, this has happened to me. And they see the comments, they've, they're responding to them, and it's a win in my book. You know, uh, when Matt first, uh, he, he, I think it was an instant message, he said, you know, I, 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 I may lose my Apple account. And he said, but I, I probably shouldn't write about it. I'm like, are you kidding? Write it up, dude. Get it out there. I said, make it thorough. You know, be, you know, explain everything. You know, I, I don't know if I, I said keep as much emotion out of it as you can. I mean, sometimes it can be a bit of a challenge, especially when you're faced, you know, losing an account, you know, through no fault of your own. But I, I told Matt to do it because these are the types of stories uh, that ultimately matter and can absolutely make a difference. When you share what's happened to you and you're thorough, you can't just say uh, company X sucks and not explain what happened and expect that you're going to get any kind of resolution. Um, you know, Matt, you did things the right way, and, and I think both Apple and PayPal responded appropriately. And if anything, I, I would just say I, I would extend this opportunity for anybody who's in the Locker Gnome community that's had, uh, you know, maybe problems with Apple or PayPal and this, to the same degree or any company. Locker Gnome could be your platform to get attention. Uh, and we're more than happy to do that for you, especially if you have a full story with details, uh, because that's what you need, especially if you're making a case to help get to a human being on the other side. We're more than happy to do that. Matt, you said you, uh, you updated that, uh, the article. We'll go ahead and link it in the description. What did you add? Well, basically, I explained what was said by, by each party um, and how the conversation went, also what resolution they came up for me. Um, on, on Apple's side, they... They put a note in my account that basically guaranteed that I wouldn't lose uh, my access to my... They actually told me how many things I'd purchased from them, 260 plus wow. um, I, uh, apps that I had bought. Um, so they, they said those are all secure. And on PayPal's side, they, uh, they flagged my account to make sure that it's in good standing. Um, and they actually, they actually offered a courtesy, um, which I didn't expect and I didn't ask for. Uh, so, you know... To me, they did a good job, but I think more importantly, in the long run, 
Uh, each company made promises that they're having meetings in the management teams to make sure that this doesn't happen in the future. And that's the most important takeaway from the situation. You know, Matt, I'm very glad that this experience, as much as it was a bit harrowing, uh, I'm glad that the experience it, it could benefit people who have no idea who you are or who we are. Exactly.